Здравствуйте! In this video, you're going to learn how to decline Russian names and surnames. You probably already noticed that Russian names decline just like nouns. For example, Сергей любит Машу, Маша любит Бориса. As you can see, Russian names that end in A or Я will decline like nouns that end in A or Я, and masculine names that end in a consonant will decline like masculine nouns ending in a consonant. Let's look at more examples. Мы идем в гости к Кате и Олегу. Где вы познакомились с Наташей? Наташа часто думает о Максиме. Now, foreign name decline just like Russian nouns if they fall into the Russian noun system. In other words, if a name ends in a or ya, or a masculine name ends in a consonant. For example, John любит Джессику. Мы идем в гости к Ларене и Джейку. Где вы познакомились с Патрицией? Патриция часто думает о Хуане. Now, all other foreign names that uh, don't fit into this Russian noun system will not decline. For example, мы были у Нэнси. Ты звонил Нэнси? Где вы встречаетесь с Нэнси? The declension of Russian last names is a little more complicated. Masculine forms of Russian last names often end in ov, yev, such as Bulgakov, Nabokov, or in, such as Pushkin or Putin. These names will decline like nouns in all cases except the instrumental, where they will take the adjectival endings. Let's see this on the example of Bulgakov. Кто это? Bulgakov. Кого вы видели? Булгакова. Кого здесь нет? Булгакова. К кому вы ходили? К Булгакову. О ком вы говорили? О Булгакове. С кем вы встречались? С Булгаковым. Once again, you will see regular masculine noun endings in all the cases except the instrumental, where the ending is им or им, the adjectival ending. Now it's your turn to practice. Try declining Vladimir Putin, pause the video, and then click the play button to see the answers. Ready? Now check your answers. Feminine last names uh, will often end in Ova or Yeva, such as Bulgakova or Nabokova, or Ina, such as Pushkina. And they will decline like adjectives in all the cases except the nominative and the accusative, where they will have the single a and u in the ending. Once again, let's use Bulgakova as an example. Кто это? Bulgakova. Кого вы видели? Bulgakovu. Now, once again, you see the familiar pattern where um, a becomes u in the accusative. And from now on, you will see the regular adjectival endings. Кого здесь нет? Булгаковой. Кому вы ходили? К Булгаковой. О ком вы читали? О Булгаковой. С кем вы встречались? С Булгаковой. Once again, now it's your turn to practice. Decline the name Anna Ахматова, pause the video, and then click the play button to see the answers. Ready? Now check yourself. Now, you've probably noticed that some Russian names like Tolstoy and Dostoevsky and Brodsky look exactly like adjectives. And since they have adjectival endings in the nominative case, they will decline exactly like the adjective in both masculine and feminine forms. For example, кто это? Brodsky, Brodskaya. Кого вы видели? Brodskava, Brodskuyu. Кого здесь нет? Brodskava, Brodskay. К кому вы ходили? К Бродскому, к Бродской. О ком вы читали? О Бродском, о Бродской. С кем вы говорили? С Бродским, с Бродской. Now you may also see some Russian last names of Polish origin that end in each. These will decline like nouns if they refer to a man. 
However, the same last name applied to a female will not decline. For example, мы видели Бориса Менделевича, мы говорили с Борисом Менделевичем. However, мы видели Эвелину Менделевич, мы говорили с Эвелиной Менделевич. Это все.